Howdy fellas, Uncle Sasquatch and Jake. Wanted to bring you a quick video here, an update on the Springfield M1A. I got a leather cheek piece from Springfield to uh, make it where it would be easier to line up with a scope and get a good cheek weld. Didn't work out. It was too short, even after I put a sponge under it and relaced it on. It was still too short, probably about half, three quarters of an inch. So I wound up ordering a Voodoo Tactical uh, ballistic nylon cheek piece on it. It's also got a uh, place right there for extra ammo. You can take that off, do whatever you want to with it. It is ambidextrous. It'll work left or right. I think it was about $25. I put a set of scope caps on the scope. And one interesting thing I learned in my research, you know, those of you that own a uh, M1A, if you buy the magazines from Springfield, they're going to cost you about $50 a piece. But I found out that those are made by Checkmate Industries up in New York. And <clears throat> done a little work looking around and found these uh, magazines, 20 round magazines, at 44magnum or 44mag.com for $25 a piece with free standard shipping. So you might want to look in that. You can tell, same magazine. Only difference, the Checkmate says checkmate right here whereas the one from Springfield's got the Springfield logo embossed. If you want to go ahead and pay 25 bucks for that logo that's your game but uh, I chose to order three of those. They come sealed up and uh, lubricated to prevent rust so if you're not going to use them just keep them in those plastic bags. Uh, I'm still waiting on a uh, sling from Springfield's back order been back ordered about a month. I don't know if I'll see that anytime soon, but I do have a 1907 sling that I could take off my 1898 Springfield and put on if that heart doesn't hurry up and come. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel for these two years. Uh, wish you a Merry Christmas. Very prosperous New Year. Thanks for watching. Keep your powder dry. Mind your top nut, Pilgrim.